Today's video, it's Spain versus Sweden in the next group match. These are two quite mismatched beers. We've got a red lager and an IPA from Sweden. But what they're going to be like and which one's going to win. Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing these two beers. We've got a beer here from Spain. This is called Malcarida. Uh, and any of you that are not sure on what the pronunciation of that is, um, it basically means like, you know, you've, you've been wrongly bad, wrongly um, had a bad time in love, really. It's, you know, Mal is bad and the other one is, is, a, is a bad loving relationship, I think. I'm not sure why it's called that, but this is a quite an interesting beer because it's a, it's a red lager um, and it's made speci specifically to have with food, um, but it's also, um, it's got hibiscus, Jamaican hibiscus flour in it. Um, so it's gonna be quite different and orange as well. So there's quite a few different flavors in this. And then this on this side, we've got Stigenbergets with this sort of lovely bird on the front. This is a Nye Rye IPA at 7%. So this is quite different. So it's more of a sort of, you know, a new age IPA. Not quite sure what the hops are in, in this one. Doesn't actually say what the hops are in this, um, but I'm expecting something. Well, I'm not sure what I'm expecting. I've never had a Swedish IPA before. So let's crack these open. Firstly, we're gonna go for the, uh, the lager. And obviously I'm expecting this to be a, a red looking beer and it is. So you look at that and that looks like some sort of, I don't know, a, a red cider or a sour beer. It's very red. It's very carbonated. When I say it's red, it's almost pink. We've got a one finger, which is just a sort of pinky white head. Let's see the aroma of it. Yeah, it smells very sort of flowery. But there's, and there were sort of subtle sort of hints of, of orange. I mean, it, it almost reminds me of a smell of a, of a sangria even, which, you know, is obviously red wine, lemonade, and uh, sometimes, you put, you know, they put brandy in it and, all, and other spirits as well, but it also has a lot of fruit in it and that gives it that aroma. And this smells quite similar to that, so it smells quite interesting. Now let's get the Swedish one open. So again, I'm not sure what I'm expecting color-wise for this one. But it looks like we're getting a very sort of New England style IPA, very sort of, again, quite a lot of carbonation moving up the glass there. Not poured it well, it's not probably not the best glass to pour it in. Three fingers of off white head, pretty compacted, and it's a sort of orangey yellow colour. Let's see what that this smells like. Yeah, it's got a very citrusy sort of smell. But I'm also getting like melon and gooseberry and that sort of thing, so it makes me think it may have New Zealand hops in it. Yeah, a lot of melon. Smells pretty good though. Right, let's do the taste test. Spain first. It doesn't really taste of much at all. Even though those aromas of the sort of orange and that sort of very sort of floral, flowery sort of smell, it doesn't really come through in the flavor. It's quite carbonated tastes really light in fact it's almost at that point where it's almost like a very it's quite watery i expect better but it is especially brewed for food so maybe it needs to be the flavors need to be dialed back a little bit more let's try the ipa from sweden yeah that's really really good I mean, obviously, from a craft beer setup, this one's going to be a winner. It's got a really soft mouthfeel, very New England style. You're getting pineapple, mango, passion fruit, the sort of normal tropical sort of flavours that you would expect. But you're also getting a big wave of melon and gooseberry as well, and that sort of white grape. So I, I would say that I'll be surprised if this hasn't got Nelson Sorvin in it, maybe even... Um, other New Zealand types of hops. Now I'm trying to look at the the the, the, um, 
the can, but it doesn't really tell us anything about it. All we know, all I know is it's from Sweden. But it's a pretty, I mean, this is a sort of beer that you, you know, I picked this up from my bottle shop. It's not a beer that you would see regularly, but um, Steigberger. So if anyone's from Sweden and, uh, and and recognizes that brand and can recommend that beer, know what it's in, Naya Rai. I mean, there's something about that, Naya Rai. It sounds a bit sort of Maori, or am I just sort of imagining that? Let's just go in again for another flavor. Yeah, that's a really good IPA. That's up there with some of the best um, New England style IPAs. Really juicy, soft mouth feel. Lots of really nice fruity, uh, tropical flavors, mango, pineapples, papaya. But there's also this sort of melony sort of grape flavor in there and a very subtleness of grapefruit as well. Citrus fruits, oh, it's got everything in it. Soft mouth feel, I think I've said that already, but very low levels of bitterness. That's a really good IPA. I definitely would would drink that one again. And I think this one was this one came in. I think it's less than four pounds. I think it's a really good value, especially as it's seven percent. That's pretty damn good. Uh, this one, I mean, it's interesting. It's it's interesting because it's different. It's a pink lager. It doesn't it doesn't taste. You think, oh, it's red. Is it going to be strawberry flavored or something? But it isn't. But it's very light doesn't have huge amounts of strong flavors but you would probably expect that because it's it's to be it's a beer to be drank with food um yeah I mean, it says fresh food better for have a food and it says it's got this jamaican flat hibiscus flower in it and also orange but i'm not getting huge waves there's a slight citrusy note there's you know which sort of almost makes it less malty than a normal lager it's not bad, but you know, it's it's not got enough flavour really to sort of, to do well on its own. But if you're at a barbecue, then I reckon it'd be a pretty good beer. So, I don't know if the results of the, the game tonight between Sweden and Spain, you would, you would favour Spain, but in terms of this competition, Sweden wins. So, it's a win for Sweden. Until the next one, keep watching the football and keep on rocking.